Greetings YouTube, welcome back to the channel. I have so many thoughts, most of which that I will save for another video, on this. The special differences between what Kabam is basically saying, we screwed up, we were too generous, we gave players who could do threat level 5 both a generic 6 star awakening gem and a class based, and so now you can only get one. I have not attempted the side quest yet. I wanted to kind of wait for hero use, and that is, of course, now where we are in the game. So, I have not jumped into any of these yet, but I'm only going to do threat level 5. I think it's weird that we've got multiple side quests. Like, what? And it says, champion requirements not met. Which is fascinating. So, let's see what the champion requirements are. Shall we? I guess we're going to use Herc and Hulk and Cosmic Ghost Rider. And let's go here. Let's do that. Now the champion requirements are met. What do you know? We're going to use our key. We're going to go in and just see what happens. Let's just see what happens. We're going to start off. This is even like the way that this is set up is a little confusing and then for the nodes buffet over time breakthrough indomitable the defenders healing abilities can't be reversed okay well something tells me that kabam realized that the side quest was causing them to lose money or at least to hurt the rest of the economy of the game so their solution was just to limit not only limit what you could get free stuff wise but also increase the difficulty so you lower the rewards and you increase the difficulty now uh, this is not a difficult fight to start out but it is a sign a sign that Kabam is very much valuing Champs that are around 50,000 PI. My big question is, is this something that people really get excited about? Or is it just adding to the exhaustion of the community right now? You know? Because I don't know. I really really don't all right here we go I can't help but think that it's sort of just something that they can throw in to say this month we'll do this but just like newer champions versus older champions that don't actually have necessarily the exciting simple mechanics it's all complicated the new side quests just feel more complicated and less rewarding and Kind of exhausting. And again, that wasn't difficult. But it was a bit annoying. Alright, final boss. Red mags. What you got? Power shield. Offensive specialty. Prowess surge. Matador. Transistor. I don't think this should be tough either. Just give me one special two. 
I've also built up now to seven feats of strength. Remember with power shield, we're not gonna be doing a lot of damage. All right. Come on, fire that special. There we go. Just need to do that one more time. Here we go. There it is. And then, now nah, probably will take two. Ah, maybe a lot more, more than that. Okay. This is not a difficult fight at all. It just takes patience, which <laughs> sometimes is in short supply. Oh, good, 9%. Well, at least that might mean I can do a special one and have them done. Let's find out, shall we? Oh, well, that didn't work out. Here we go. Yeah. So, no worries. They, you can still use Hercules, which is kind of amazing. I think I would use Cosmic Ghost Rider if I couldn't use Hercules for old time's sake. And remember, this is just the start because you can only use enough keys for one threat level. And if you try anything else, you will not be able to get the rewards this month, which are a fraction of what they used to be because, again, this is the first month where Kabam has explicitly stated you can get one thing. This is like when my mom said, all right, y'all have been good. We can go to Dollar Tree back when things were actually a dollar. And you can get one thing, but you can't get two things. Well, I'm used to getting like five things, Mom. That was the past, son. This is today. Well, um, I finally jumped in, and wow. I mean, it's fine. It's just weird. It, it seems, the, the setup seems overly complicated and also just kind of annoying. But remember, you have to fully explore Knight's Vault, Rook's Vault, Queen's Vault, and King's Vault at the same threat level at the end of the now 30 days to uh, to get what, well, what you hope to get. And threat level 5's case, a generic 6-star Awakening Gym. Well, thanks for the feedback, YouTube, as always. Thank you for watching. It is uh, an honor to make videos on this channel and to attempt to give something back to this community that has given me so much in the year 2024. Have a good one.